In the long history of humankind, those who learn to collaborate and improvise most effectively have prevailed. Mm. So it's so easy to just go along with what everyone else is doing. Status quo. The status quo. And that could come with gender norms, things we talk about when we talk about kids and what you're having, a boy or a girl, all those things, just agreeing and nodding is an evolutionary habit. So you know how you say, I'm 35 and I'm just not learning. No, think about literally thousands and thousands of years of human evolution and you're trying to unlearn that. It's, it's hard. Yeah. We don't choose our earliest habits. We imitate them. We follow the script handed down by our friends, our family, our church or school or local community and society at large. In many ways, these social norms are invisible rules that guide your behavior each day. You're always keeping them in mind, even if they're not at the top of your mind. Often you follow the habits of your culture without thinking, without questioning, and sometimes without remembering. Most of the time, going along with the group does not feel like a burden. I think that's a lot of my struggle in my adulthood, right? Going against the the pack. Mm -hmm. um, and you you know, me and you have had so many conversations in terms of how it's so heavy on me feeling ostracized and feeling the like the lone wolf because I'm not going with the status quo. And it's tough. It's tough. Even when you know you're doing something that's going to benefit you in the long term, it's it's kind of like working out, right? Like you're, mm. you're not going to do one. Mm. You're not going to do one workout and then see a six pack, right? It's going to take months, if not years, for you to like mm -hmm. really see some results. 